Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and I'm back, back on YouTube, back uploading sim racing. Now it's been over a year since I've been behind any sort of steering wheel. Pretty much I started working and studying full time in the football industry, which meant I had no time for anything else. But due to the current coronavirus pandemic and lockdown here in the UK, like all of you guys, I'm stuck inside, bored out of my brain. Now I am doing bits and bobs, volunteering in the community, but for the most part, I am desperately missing my sport, but more specifically my motorsport. Now I think we can all agree that most of the international motorsports for that matter are going to be cancelled this year and just postponed to next year i mean we could get some more i mean we could get some races towards the end of the year but then i can't understand the point in having like four round championships especially like in formula one or moto gp or wrc or championships where, which are traveling from country to country but the point is there's is a whole lot of motorsport events around the world that are probably not going to take place this year and i thought if i can't watch them in real life I may as well just recreate them on the sim so i've got a whole calendar year worth of motorsport events here from a range of different categories and a range of different cars. We've got anywhere from Formula E, Formula One, we've got IMSA, we've got V8 Supercars, IndyCar. And according to this 2020 motorsports calendar, the first major event of this year was a Formula E in Chile, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So without any further ado, we'll jump straight into the video. Now I've got a little selection of cars here from the 2020 Formula E season. I've decided on the Envision version number four, which was driven by, I'm gonna have to Google that one sec. Robin Friends, that's it. And you're gonna set up a quick little practice, qualifying and race. All right, so Santiago e Prix in Formula E, we've got the full grid of 24 drivers from the 2019 slash 2020 season. I do believe this race was like the second or third race on their like championship. I don't really watch Formula E to be completely honest. Uh, we've got all the new drivers, all the new paint schemes. We've got on the pole in qualifying somehow. I don't know. We're not really doing any of the battery saving deal because I don't really know if the AI is going to make it to the end because they are pretty retarded on this game. But I've done a little bit of practice, got a setup together. And without any further ado, let's do this thing. So pop it in first. No clutch. Oh, this is not going to end well. Oh, wow. That's a lot of wheel spin. Rusty off the start. I could not have picked a worse car on a worse track to start this thing. There is absolutely no grip in this. Woo! It was close. Alright, we survived the first corner at least. Oh, too much front bias. Oh, no, that's putting it forward. There we go. Oh, there's a yellow flag already, so the AI has already screwed itself over. They are right on our tail. Woo! Big dive bomb. Forgot about the AI on our factor being that crazy. I've got them set to 40% AI aggression. Got the difficulty set to max because they were pretty slow around here. And I've got the uh, damage set to 100% so we cannot hit anything. <laughs> or else we will be in the pits fixing suspension or bodywork. These cars are pretty robust from what I've seen in real life. But it doesn't take much to actually throw a wheel out of alignment. Man, that guy's getting away. We need, a, we need to do something here, lads. Fine, we're good through the chicanes, but we need to figure it out through the hairpins. This track just shows you how important ripple strips or rumble strips, whatever you call them, are as reference points. Because I don't know how these guys do it, honestly. I'm staying as far away from the walls as possible because I just don't know when the sort of apex of the corner is. Right, a little bit better on that lap. Pascal Verline. Oh, how the mighty have fallen.
Man, these cars really do have no grip whatsoever, honestly. Alright, come on. Good run out of there, we're on him. Trailer park boys, go around the outside. Ah, not a trailer park boy. Where are you going? Man, they block? I didn't know they block in R Factor 2. This is my first ever race on R Factor 2, honestly. This is <laughs> so much different, more different than what I thought this was going to be. Played a lot of R Factor 1, but I haven't done anything on R Factor 2, so we'll learn it as it comes. Oh, there's a wall there. And there, and there. <laughs> I don't know how these guys do this in real life, honestly. They must be so difficult. Jules Verne. Oh no, Jean Eric Verne. <laughs> wow. Shows how long I've been out, out of the game for. Oh, we've got another. Try the inside this time. I think we've got it done. No, don't you dare. Ah! And they do like a dive bomb. I thought setting it at 40% aggression was was not that high, obviously not. Woo! Lucy Goosey. We got a battle going on here, lads. Oh, you did not just die in the middle of the chicane right in front of me. You've got to be joking. All right, well, we're steering straight. But we definitely got damage. That's the old R Factor I, I remember. <laughs> oh, man. I cannot get used to this whole two gear thing, honestly. It's just screwing with my head. Oh, let's try and pull away. How long we got left? We're in the lead with 13 minutes to go. I really need to go get like a new um whatchamacallit? HUD. This is not working for me. See if there's like a Formula E HUD out there. I'm sure there is. I'm sure someone's done it. I need to focus on getting away from second. Let's go! Vaminos! I tried second through this. Saved them tires. Uh oh! not taking any chances through these hairpins. I just cannot get the braking right. These groove tyres with no or engine braking is really weird. Alright. 
they are catching up slowly. I think. I'm not sure. We'll see how we get through this sector. I hate this corner. I hate this corner. I hate this corner. These cars are honestly just like an elongated rental car. And we're driving on like an indoor or outdoor rental car circuit. <laughs> All right, well, the gap pretty much stayed the same that lap, so not losing. Like I thought we were. Well, that was nice. That was nice. be really interesting to see what some of the other series and mods that we've downloaded are going to be like. I've got uh, V8 Supercars, Supercars as they're now called, and the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship as well. And so far I've done just some little testing to see what they're like and they are really fun so stay tuned for that. Ten minutes, so we're halfway through. Still alive, just. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> like that split-second moment where you know you're going to hit the wall and you have to do something about it. And I am rusty to say the least, though. It's been a while. It has been a while. Tire wear's not too bad. Not sure I was going to wear the hell out of these rears, but... We're all right for the moment. Oh, again, I don't know how these guys do this. Like, it's amazing what a what a cir uh, street circuit's like without without rumble strips. Like, that's easy. I could see the apex of that corner. Nailed it. They're consistent though. Oh. In terms of lap time, I think. They are slowly starting to pull away from second now. So it turns out that guy fencing it through the chicane has actually helped us out more than hindered us. Even though we're not entirely tracking straight. Nailed that first sector. Oh, this is a good lap. This is a good lap. Oh, 
Oh, Apex is back there somewhere. Concentrate on your step. Oh, how much longer? Six minutes, all right. You can almost use that first gear as a handbrake in a way. There we go. Oh, <laughs> nailed it. Alright, come on. We got this. They caught up a little bit in that last lap. Oh, Pascal. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Shaving the walls. We got this. We got this. I think it would be easier if we were like lifting and coasting into every corner like what you would need to in real life. Sort of judge your entry speeds a lot better. Not have to worry about the whole lack of engine braking that you'd usually have or going down the gears. But we don't we don't need any lift and coasts in this race. We're not saving. We're not about that life. Well, the, uh, the guy in second's gone. Uh, good old Pascal Verlein is, uh, or what, however you pronounce his name. He's a German. He's fenced it somewhere. Hey, we are just destroying this. I'd make the, uh, make the AI harder if I could, but they're already as high as I could get it. Uh, no. 
I screwed that up. You'd think getting the car around this hairpin or these hairpins would be a lot easier than it looks. Alright. Just under two minutes left. Oh, we got this, lads. Let's finish this. Don't fence it. Tires, oh, those rears. Oh. Not enjoying life. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm so not used to not changing without like the high engine revs. All right, one minute left. It's probably going to be the last lap next time around. I believe. Oh. I'm going to get that WRC 8, but just getting some practice in now. <laughs> uh. Go! Oh, that's it. Time has run out. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the last lap. A massive gap behind. Boys, Woo -hoo. all right, first race back, first race win. Oh man, it feels good being back behind the steering wheel. I'll tell you what. All right, well, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little Formula E video. R Factor 2, stay tuned for more R Factor 2 action. We'll, we'll head into some other motorsport categories here soon. But thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.